Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Let's Make an Open World RPG. Um, this is the very first, well technically the very first episode that we are doing. In this episode we are going to be setting up the world of Dear Heart. Now like I mentioned before, um, this game I have already started working on it. So everything I'm doing now will pretty much be a copy of what I have already done but showing you guys um, exactly what we did so you guys can follow along or you know what take notes or whatever you have to do to apply it to your own games and your own projects and stuff like that uh, so yeah we're just gonna jump right into it we're gonna start a new project we're gonna call this and I've got a thing the Lord he took me out the maze two tunes that's a sound of a new bitch 2020 all oh, year gotta get rich tut alright Hit OK. OK, so we have a brand, um, a blank new project. The first thing we have to do is, to, of course, import all of our assets. Um, so wherever your assets are already, uh, pretty much just go find that folder. And uh, uh, so pretty much I'm going to be copying over um, everything since the game is the same. So pretty much in this episode, we're going to be making the first the overworld map we're not actually going to be making it we're going to be copying and pasting it um we're going to set up the time system um the day and night system uh and then open up kind of their heart side by side the original file so you guys can kind of follow along so the first thing we have to do is of course create the overworld that's the first thing you should always do um um in this fashion um pretty much everything is open it's more like legend of zelda where you could actually um just go anywhere um and it's all just one map versus multiple maps um, on the world map same thing but kind of different so i decided not to make this game as big as dawn haven um mainly because it will be a lot more manageable if you watched the trailer, you, this map now only has um, one town, and it's Savala, which is right here. Um, so I pretty much merged all three towns, which um, there used to be a town over here, and then there used to be a town also down here. I kind of merged them all into one town. Uh, the main reason why I wanted to have three towns is because the map is so small, I wanted to give the player a reason to travel and also to fill in the gameplay time uh so yeah let's make this map uh and by make i mean just literally drag the files over so i'm gonna go ahead and save this <laughs> everything should pretty much look the same there's a couple of things missing, but that's because we have to switch this to the right tile set. Um, so I made a custom tile set, actually. <clears throat> I do have to import that in. So let's go back to data. Again, the mapping portion of it is pretty much to your own. Um, I mean, you could try to copy my map, but I wouldn't really recommend it because it wouldn't make for an interesting adventure. I would definitely recommend you make it something completely different. Um, this is the tutorial one. Let's make sure we don't get these files messed up. So I'm not going to copy everything at once. I'll copy them over as we need them. Uh, that way you guys could kind of see where everything is coming from. And uh, all right so now we have all of our trees and all of our extra stuff which um is added by tiles um set e and um yeah d uh let's rename this of course to edit okay, don't worry about that. um don't worry about this um i'll explain that later that's for the abs that we are using so keep in mind that um once we import the map from the other game, it copies all the events. So I went ahead and deleted all of that. Uh, so let's just kind of like play test this a little bit just to make sure, you know, we have our little game world in here. All right, we are functioning, running at 30 FPS. We got our main town shop copy map two. 
Uh, also, just for measures, let me also get map three, which should be Savala. Three, map three, map three. That's the actual inside of um, side of the city. So, tutorial number one for you guys who are um, here for tutorials. Um, so you know how in Skyrim um, you have the, oh, uh, you know, like let's say you're in Skyrim and you're walking around and you get to a city. What I like to do is make my cities in a different location, but still kind of show the outside when you're in the main world. So you can kind of look into the city, but not really, you know, be in the city. That way, all the stuff going around in the city map won't affect what's going on on the outside map. So when you're battling and doing all that stuff in the outside map, it won't slow your game down um, because you have too much going on on the inside. Now, when I do, um, pretty much when I do that, um, there's a special way to make it so when you transition from one map to the other, it doesn't look like you're moving from a, from one map to a, a different map. It just looks seamless. And that's what the tutorial will be. So uh, let me just go ahead and open back up my game world, which should not have my three maps loaded in, which they do not. Hmm. All right, so now we have our three maps. Let's go ahead and name them. So one, okay, so in order to make the um, transitioning seamless, both of the maps have to be the same size. Now, as you can see, um, they're the same size, but I only um, have this area showing because when you're inside the city, you can't see um past you know the point that you can see right here uh, so map two which is our spawn map this is where all of our enemies will be spawning in from and don't worry guys i'll show you how to set this up um our chest will also spawn here our plants that we need to gather herbs from and all the other stuff and also once we start making our playhouse this is also where all the appliances and beds and whatnot will be spawning in from uh, so let's go ahead and rename that to spawn map. Now, let me get to that tutorial. So pretty much um, what you have to do is if you go to the map, I'll kind of show you. So creation, transfer, and then asking you where you want to go. Make sure that uh, when you transfer is literally the next tile above where the where the transfer point is right and then we could actually no go back into it edit it make sure that you set fade to none that's important and then make sure that um you could get rid of the move and, and then the very last important thing that you have to do is set player move route one step forward uh skip if cannot move but Realistically, you should be able to move and then copy, paste. And then if we go back to Savala, where everything should already be set up, we're gonna be deleting all these events in a little bit. Um, but as you can see, um, you know, that, and then same thing. So if I try this out now, the game might crash once I get back into Savala though, because it's gonna try to transfer me to a different map, which doesn't exist. It's gonna be like, now nah, loading. Is it's this, this pretty much is how the game starts. It will transfer you to Tutorial Island or whatnot. So I'm just gonna leave that to none. Savala. So if you didn't have your party members. Oh, it's actually something. Cause it's jumping, shouldn't be jumping. Uh, let's go back down here. Uh, it does have to wait for completion. All right, so wait for completion. Ooh, delete all those other guys. Play the game. We walk in here. Transition is pretty smooth. Two different maps. Well, so now you guys know how to transition seamlessly between your city map and your outside world map uh so where 
it doesn't look like you actually changed maps. The only indicator that you did change maps is uh, the map thingy at the top that shows you what map you're in, but you could always just leave that blank. Uh, so now that we have um, a way to get between our main map and our main city, uh, again, let's now go ahead and set up that day and night system. Mm -mm 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 